Hi, I just wanted to take a few moments to talk with you about nipple pain. If you're breastfeeding and you're experiencing nipple pain, that is not normal. A little bit of mild tenderness in the first few weeks when you uh, first deliver your baby is to be expected, but it should not ever feel like pain where you're dreading the next feed, where you're curling your toes, where your shoulders are up around your ears. Um, and your nipple should be coming out in the same shape that it went in your baby's mouth, maybe a bit longer, but still round, no compression or anything like that. So uh, I've put together a little video of a technique you can use to give yourself a little bit of relief if you are in that first two weeks and experiencing some mild tenderness. It will just take the compression of your clothing against your nipple off. Or if you're waiting to have an appointment with a lactation consultant who is experienced with nipple pain, in the meantime, while you're waiting, you can use this little trick just to give yourself a bit of relief until we find what the problem is and fix it. A little trick um, or hack, I guess, if your nipples are sore, you're in that first few weeks postpartum, getting used to breastfeeding and they're just tender, not so painful that you have any damage, or that you're dreading the next feed, or that your toes are curling, you're in so much pain, just, just a little bit sore, or you are having some nipple damage and having some um, significant pain, and you're waiting for an appointment with a lactation consultant to find and fix the problem. This is a little something that you can do at home just to take the, the um, rubbing of your clothing off of your nipple, but still being able to, to go out and be dressed and wear a bra and all of those things. So it's really easy. You just take a Kleenex. We make a donut out of this. So fold the Kleenex in half, then fold it in half again. Then you just want to roll it up like this. Then twist and put a knot in it. And you want to leave enough room that your circle, that there's room around your nipples so that air can get around to help with healing, but not so loose that it just slips around in your clothing and doesn't protect your nipple at all. So you'll have to figure that out. So just tie a little knot in it. And then you can tuck these extra edges in or you can just leave them out, it doesn't matter. Okay. And then you just simply put that over your nipple and then you can put your breast pad over top of that. If you have long nipples, you can put two and then put your breast pad over top. Now, if you've got a little bit of damage, um, maybe a little scrape or a little crack, something, and again, I, you need to make an appointment with a lactation consultant to find the problem, just to put a little bit of ointment. I like ointments that are one ingredient, Medi Honey, Calendula, now, Earth Mama and Rumina Naturals has uh, products that have multiple ingredients in it, but that they're all organic and they're also very good. So put your ointment of choice, just put a little bit um, on a Q-tip. This is how I was taught in nursing. We never touch the end of, of uh, ointment tube, um, but you're always gonna be washing your hands before you do any of this anyway. So then you will just dab it on gently on that sore nipple, just dab it on. M most products are okay for a baby to feed. You don't have to wash it off or do anything. And then simply put your nipple donut and then put that over. Now you may find that this sticks a little bit, especially if you're leaking a lot of milk. So you might just have to soak it off so that it's not um, pulling when you pull it off. And that's it.